From the chain that loves to only put good rides in the state of Ohio comes the best coaster of 2017. Which probably wouldn't have even been top 5 if it were coming out next year. Mystic Timbers. You loved the classic racer, when nuts over the beast, thought, ah, oh, that's cute, with Woodstock Express, and almost broke every bone in your body on Son of Beast. Now, gaze at a brand new wooden roller coaster at King's Island, bringing the total wooden coaster count to five. So now King's Island is more wooden coaster track than any other park on the planet. Which I still can't wrap my head around every time I go to Kennywood, or Six Flags Great America, or Holiday World. But I'm too lazy to fact check them, so I'm gonna assume they're telling the truth. After the disaster that was Son of B****, watch as the park builds a wooden coaster that the locals can only assume is somehow a reincarnation of the past attraction. Hey man, did you hear that King's Island's rebuilding Son of Beast next year? Wait, what? Isn't that where Diamondback, the Diamondback was? Yeah, so they're tearing down that log ride over there, they're putting it in Nickelodeon Universe. Oh man, Snoopy's my favorite Nickelodeon character. What's this? What? No, no. Oh, get these out of here. After the relocation of the Whitewater Canyon Pathway, and the addition of a construction wall began speculation on what King's Island could possibly have up their sleeve. And in a not very surprising move from the park, watch as they announce a sick new out and back wooden coaster from GCI, sending you on a high speed run to the woods of Rivertown. Okay, I admit it looks pretty good, but if Cedar Point were to get one, it would be better. Bruh, you're getting RMC mean streak. Stop trying to own everything. And in a surprise twist, allow your curiosity to build when the park teases a surprise element at the end of the ride, with no plans to announce what's inside. I wish they would just give us a hint on what's in the shed already, this is driving me crazy! So I guess you could say that you want them to <clears throat> shed some light on it? Alright, that was bad, I'm sorry. Following the big reveal, begin to guess what could possibly be in that tiny wooden building. Is it a drop track, a backwards launch, an inversion, or maybe all three? I mean, <laughs> as long as it isn't just something dumb like a screen and a couple of lights, and I'm pretty sure it'll be amazing. Everyone's making their pathetic guesses and all, but I already know what's in the shed. I have inside sources. Oh yeah, and who's that? The Dippin' Dots guy? Alright, what do you think's in the shed? John Cena. Your mom. Another shed. Pants. Quesadillas. Son of Beast. Hillary. Hillary's emails. I don't know. Uh, maybe a rake or a garden hoe. Uh, possibly a wheelbarrow. I'm talking about what's in the shed on Mystic Timbers, not what's in the shed in your backyard. Oh, I don't know. What's in the shed? The Joker Free Fly Coaster. Eat it out. The rest of Adventure is for us. Cedar Point Fanboy. You think Cedar Point Fanboy's in the shed? Yeah, totally. What on earth would he be doing in the shed? I don't know, he's just in the shed. Yeah, maybe ask someone more reliable next time. Well, let me tell you what's not in the shed. What? A giga. Okay, you- alright. Thank you, Taylor. We all know that King's Island's eventually gonna get a giga. This is just filler like how Tempesto was for Invader. We just need to sit back and enjoy the ride. Wow. A guy in a coaster parody with actual common sense. We should have him on more often. Approach the old site of the funnel cake stand. No! Not the funnel cake stand! Dude, chill. There's a new better one next door. Oh, excuse me for a second. Approach the old funnel cake stand where now an impressive wooden coaster stands in its place. Theme to... itself. Really? A wood theme? We're going to theme a wooden coaster to wood. That's just an excuse to get out of theming because you can say, see all that wood? That is the theming. But I guess it's not just any wood. This is evil possessed wood determined to get its revenge. Yeah, you heard that right. You know, I wonder if the designers read that out loud before they decided to roll with it. Ooh, what's lurking in the woods? Um, the woods. Approach the ugly drive-in theater entrance. Taking note of the tree-beard mascot and watches the GP try to figure out if this is actually the entrance to the ride or not. All right, so I see there's Mr. Timbers here, but that voice is telling me do not enter, so I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Is it closed or something? Great job, Kings Island. That makes two now. Walk through the theme queue. Again, it's just a bunch of wood. Oh, and another shed. So, what's in the shed? Um, right now, about half of the guests at King's Island. After going through more cattle pens, enter the hashtag basic wooden coaster station and board your truck. Roll out of the station and take a slow ascent of the 109 foot tall lift hill, giving you a fantastic view of the better wooden coaster right in front of you. Fall into the drop, which is basically just a giant bank turn, and proceed up and back over the lift hill, where you'll pass over a banked curve, extreme quadruple S turn, double camelback trick track, 
Tip out off axis, double up, camelback, forward, jump track, trick track, J curve, 180 degree down drop, airtime hill, through a tunnel, and then back out into more camelback, drop down, off axis, trick track, triple turn, tip out corner, tiny, twisted airtime hills before entering the shed. Hey, hey, I see you out there. What in the break run you think you're doing there? Seriously, guys, this is totally safe. Go back home to your video games and your roller coaster tycoon, but whatever you do, do not go in the shed. All that's in there is disappointment. It's it's really not worth it. Yeah, so we do know what's in the shed now. You won't be disappointed. Don't you have somewhere to get lost in? And now that you've conquered the shed, re-enter the station, not sure whether to clap or not since the actual ride was amazing, but the shed just leaves a weird taste in your mouth. Nonetheless, I mean, it's, it's still an amazing ride. Don't get me wrong, best ride at Kings Island, really. It was pretty good, but I mean, I don't understand why they had to ship Main Street all the way to Cincinnati. <sighs> oh my god. Ah. Shivering Timbers. Find out what's in the shed now by going on literally any social media platform.